have somebody from ATL. Please give it up for Big Sean. Give him a round of applause, y'all. Big Sean. Come on, Sean. Cut it. I ain't got no time. I ain't got no time. My name is Sean. I'm from, originally from Detroit. That's my hometown, Detroit, Michigan. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Shit, goddamn. <laughs> I live in Atlanta now. Had to leave Detroit. And the reason I left, because a lot of y'all was in the, in the same reason I, I was in. I was a grown ass man, still living at home with my mama. I see the look on your face, you in that same goddamn boat. And that don't make no sense to live at home with your mama, you a grown motherfucker, do My mother caught me making a sandwich with her lunch meat. This bitch cussed me out. Nigga, this don't make no goddamn sense. Yo grown ass living at home with your mama. You need to get a job. Get your shit together. I said, hey, 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 hey. You live with your mama too. We stay at grandma's house. Who the fuck you talking to? We sleeping on bunk beds in the basement. Get your shit together. She mad because I got the bottom bunk. You should have got your ass down there first. You could have got the bottom bunk. So now I live in Atlanta. Atlanta, the strip club capital of the world, am I right? Love the strip club. Fellas, why are the strippers always named after drinks? You notice that? What the strippers name be? Alizé, Champagne, Moet, Hennessy. They're always named after drinks. And see, I went to one strip club in Atlanta. Y'all probably never heard this. The worst strip club in the history of strip clubs. It's called Montres. These strippers was fucked up. These are like, you want to do? <laughs> These strippers dumb as hell. They name shit like Gatorade and Slushy and Tang. <laughs> Warm water. <laughs> One bitch ain't even having it. Her name was something to drink. Give it up for something to drink. <laughs> she was supposed to have on high heels. These bitches got on flip flops, house shoes. They don't give a fuck. Super supposed to swing on the pole, they just walk around the pole. I'm tired, I ain't swing on the goddamn pole today. I ain't, I'm not getting up there. I look backstage to see what these dumb ass strippers doing. They were doing something I thought I would never see in a strip club. They was backstage praying before they went on stage. About five or six dumb ass strippers. They were serious as hell. They holding hands, got a little prayer circle. Cover your titties up. Go ahead, Gatorade. <laughs> Lord, we asked that our asses clap like thunder while we was up here on stage. I was like, hell no. <laughs> and strippers had too many tattoos. I can't deal with no woman with too many tattoos. There's a rule to tattoos, y'all. It's a fad that's gonna play out. You're gonna be stuck with this shit the rest of your life. Be careful what you put on your body. First rule, if you don't know the oriental language, don't put no goddamn oriental writing on your ass. I seen the girl up the street, had some shit on her arm. I said, what's that on your, what's, what's that on your arm? Oh, that's my name in Chinese. Mr. Wong, come here for a minute. Is that her name in Chinese? Oh, hell no. No, no, that's I say number two with beef. <laughs> Bitch, you got a menu on your damn arm. And a lot of y'all don't think about the fact that you might live to be 85 years old. Think about the fact that you might live to be 80, 85 years old. Now you wanna go to church? Cause that's what you do when you're 85, you go to church, right? You sitting up in church with the baddest bitch tattooed on your goddamn neck. You 85 in the choir with the baddest bitch on your damn neck. Amen. Baddest bitch right here on your damn neck. Your grandson like, Grandma, you a bitch? I used to be, baby. Now I'm saved, I'm a bitch for Jesus! Let him use you. <laughs> Everybody done talked about it, but my favorite thing in the world, ladies, listen up, because I'm gonna tell you ladies what all men want. There's a lot of men here tonight, but I'm gonna tell you what all men want, because a lot of times women, they don't ask what a man want. So I'm gonna tell you, we got rich men, poor men, white, black, Hispanic, Asian, but every man in here loves some good head. Fellas, do we love good head? Woo, hush up, Sita, hush up, mm. We love hair. How many ladies are sucking dick? Put your hands together if you're sucking dick. Don't be, just one back there. All right, sister, praise. Just one, you, ma'am, you do it, all right. Do you, do you suck dick with your glasses on or you take your glasses off when, when you do it? <laughs> Can you see a sucking dick with a glasses on? She'll be like. <laughs> mm. 
I'm gonna have to get some contacts. This is it. <laughs> head is the shit. And fellas, ain't the best head when you driving home on the freeway getting some head? Ain't that the shit? You be about to pass out on the freeway, god damn. You be doing 80 in first gear, fucking your clutch up. Don't worry about that noise, just stay your ass down there. That's a... <laughs> head is beautiful. And white girl love to get head. White girl will suck your dick, get your name later. They don't be bullshit. My mother said, boy, don't you ever bring no white woman home to my house. Don't bring them bitches up in here. She, the white girl suck my dick so good, I brought her home on Martin Luther King Day. ain't gonna bullshit. <laughs> White girl gave me some hair so good, had me talking like a white dude. White dudes, I know how y'all feel. She's like, what do you want me to do? Want you to suck my fucking cock, baby. That's what I want you to do. Hey, y'all, I'm Big Sean Larkins. Thank y'all for having me.